Hello students. Now in this session, I will explain question number six and seven of exercise 2.3 of chapter two, fractions and decimals. So let me just read out question number six for you, all of you. That is Lipika reads a book for one three by four hours every day. So Lipika reads a book how for how many hours for a day? That is one three by four hours. Now in the next sentence, it is written she reads the entire book in six days. Fine. So she finishes the book. That is uh, she reads the entire book in six days. Now the final question they are asking how many hours in all were required by her to read the book. So what is the first sentence that we will write? The first sentence that we will write is Lipika reads the book for how many hours? So Lipika reads the book. Lipika reads the book that is for how many hours? 1, 3 by 4 hours. 1, 3 by 4 hours. So it is in the mixed fraction form. We will convert it into the improper form. 4 was a 4. 4 plus 3 is 7. 7 by 4 hours. Okay, this is per day. This is for per day. So we will write uh, Lipika reads the book per day. Even you can write this as per day that is equals to 1 by 1, 3 by 4 hours that is equals to 7 by 4 hours. Now number of days she took to read the entire book. Now we will write number of days she took to read the entire book. That would be equals to what? 6 days. So now how many total hours she required then? So the final statement would be therefore total time required. Total number of hours. Okay. Total number of hours required by her. Required by her. That would be 6 into 7 by 4. Okay, that is for per day she is reading how many hours? 7 by 4. So for 6 days, how many hours she will read? Obviously, more that means 6 into 7 by 4. Okay, so now just reduce the values that is 6 and 4 can be reduced by 2. So 2 3s are 6, 2 2s are 4. So your answer would be 21 by 2. And if we give, give this answer in the mixed fraction form so answer would be 10 to 1 so this many hours she took to read the complete book okay so total number of hours required by her that would be equals to 6 into 7 by 4 this is your answer and this is 21 by 2 hours you can write hours here and you have to give your answer in the mixed fraction form that is that would be 10 1 by 2 hours okay so let's move on to sum number Seven. Question number seven is also very very easy. Now, what is question number seven is saying? A car runs sixteen kilometer using one liter of petrol. That is, with one liter of petrol, the car is car is going or car is covering how much distance? That is sixteen kilometer. Now, how much distance will it cover using two three by liters of petrol? Obviously, more than one liter of petrol. So again, we have to multiply, but what is the first sentence that you have to write, students? The total number of distance traveled by a car in one liter of petrol. Fine. So this is a very, very important statement. A total number of distance, a total number of <coughs> distance traveled by a car, distance traveled. by a car in one liter petrol that would be equals to what how is this thing is written it is written 16 kilometer so therefore the final statement will write as what therefore the total number of distance traveled by a car in therefore total distance 
will be covered with how much petrol is given? 2, 3 by 4 liters of petrol, isn't it? 2, 3 by 4 liters of petrol. That would be equals to what? 16 into 2, 3 by 4. Isn't it? So in one liter, if the car covers a distance of 16 kilometers, it's quite obvious that with this amount of liters of petrol, it will cover more distance. So that is the reason we are multiplying 16 with 2, 3 by 4. Okay. So what is the answer then? 16 into, we'll convert this, convert this form into the improper form. That is 4 to the 8. 8 plus 3 is 11. 11 by 4. Now let's reduce these two values. 4 on the 4, 4 for the 16, that will be 44 km. Okay, that will be 44 km. That means the total distance the car will cover with 2, 3 by 4 liters of petrol is 44 km. Okay, students, that's it for this session. Thank you so much. God bless you and stay blessed.